those mornings where you don't want to wake up. It's like right before you are planning on waking up, the bed gets you so warm and cozy and comfy. And then you want to stay in for five more minutes. That's what I feel right now. But I have a house to build, so it's time to get up. Morning, Dot. Peppa. Woo. Hola, chiquita. ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días. What's up? Come on, chiki chikis. Yeah, we're right here. Woo! Woo Come get your corn. <laughs> we. <laughs> We're getting started. We're gonna start working on the A-frame back in here. We actually have been working off camera and we got it all the way up there. Where is it like? Okay, no, it's in the side. Sorry, I'm confused. We got it up all the way there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight of those beams going up. So today the plan is to finish this side or try to finish as much as we can in this side here. And then we can continue working on the other side. <laughs> We are just finishing the last nine long beams that are gonna go in the top there. With this one, that's gonna be it. We're not gonna have to weld any more of these pieces. I'm in the top of the world! This is how, how high we have get so far. Look at that, look, look down. That is so crazy. We are almost done with this side of the structure for the roof. We are missing only three more pieces in this side. Here, one, two, three. That's it, and then we will be done with this side of the structure for the roof. This is awesome! Ah, it's getting windy! Uh, I should get down. It's getting windy. By the way, that is a view that I'm gonna have from my house. Pretty much like very, very in the top, I'm gonna have that view. And then I can see there, all the land, I can see to that side. This is beautiful. I'm out of my mind. One step. Do you know what I said? If you are gonna climb the roof of a house, you better have your crocs on. And if you're gonna run, just put them in sport mode. Come on, George, let's go. Oh my God, we did it. So beautiful! Check this! Woo. Whoa! Look at that, bro! Whoa! 
That's so cool. <laughs> the sunset. <laughs> so beautiful. Breaks off. That's beautiful. <gasps> we have been so excited and just so, so, I wouldn't say patient with this mini summer. But we think it's right here. Look at that sunset. This is not something that happens during the rainy season. This may be the transition from the rainy season to our little break that we call the mini summer. And this is exciting. That means that we will have beautiful days with amazing sunsets. That's the vibe. Wow, I think this is it. I think this is a mini summer. Check this out. What? Blue sky in the morning? This is not usual. Oh. Look. Oh, I see my breakfast. Right here. Good morning, George. How you doing, boy? Oh, you stink so bad. Are you up for a shower today? Cause you need it, man. Today we're gonna continue working on this side of the structure. We have been working a lot and really hard to try to get this thing done as fast as we can and we are completely crushing it. We're doing a great job over here. As you can see on this side, we're only missing a couple of those beams over here to be all ready. We're planning to have at least two of them ready by the end of the day today. And it's because we are, we, we are still missing those six inches ones that we have to place in between. And those ones are the ones that take the more time to place in because we have to hold it very good there. It's not going to fall down there. have to keep those beams completely straight and what we have been doing is that one of us just gets away from the structure a little bit so we have a better view of that beam and we see if it is bending or if it is sagging a little bit in the middle and as we go higher it's getting really really hard so we need to go kind of like at the same elevation of where the beam is to have a very very good perspective from it and have it done really really well but um, it's getting higher and um, I have to climb a tree. They don't call me the jungle boy for nothing. No, the hard thing is gonna be going down. Alberto, otra vez la escalera. Dale. Dale. I think we are all set for today. 
it's already time, the rain is coming, which was not supposed to happen if this is mini summer. No, we are only missing that space in between. You see that little gap right there in the top? That is the only space that we're missing. We are planning on having that ready next week. It's just six more beams and we are all set with that. What is this? No mini summer. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Yesterday, so beautiful, nice and perfect, and today, just rain. Just... Uh. This rain is crazy, it's so strong. One of my least favorite parts about the rain is when I have to milk the goats. And the reason for that is because every time that it gets rainy, I have to be holding an umbrella over there because the milk extension is outside and I have to get all wet. So it's not much of a big deal, but I mean, I really love milking them, but just not that much when it's raining. But in the other hand, look at this. Look at this. We got some fresh milk. Hey, buddy. What are you doing there? Oh, wait, you cold. Look at you. What is that? <laughs> Good morning. I love you. Kissy. Whoa. Hey, I, I, I am confused. I'm honestly really confused. I don't know. Mornings are beautiful now a little bit and then the afternoons are just like crazy rain. I don't know. Today it is going to be a laid back day. We're not gonna be doing that much and like crazy heavy work, meaning that we're not gonna work on the house. But instead, we're gonna be working on doing things in the farm. Actually, it is going to be just me. Now that I remember, Iberto and Enrique have a day off today, so it's gonna be just me. And I have to start cleaning this gold house. That thing over there is nasty and it smells really, really bad. But I got a solution for it. I'm piling all the dirty grass right in this area. This is like right before the jungle. So when the rain comes, it's gonna wash all the nutrients that it has down to the jungle. We could use some of that for our compost piles, but it's too much. We are getting too much of that. We're cleaning this thing twice a week and we're getting a lot. And I also kind of want to give back to nature a little bit of all the things that she's providing to us right now. It's kind of like just to see if, if we can get some sunny days. So it's like a tray. I have been reading a lot and also talking to people who know a lot about this kind of situations where you have animals that produce these really bad smells like pigs, goats, sometimes horses and all of them say that baking soda is one of the best solutions for it so I got a five pounds bag that I wish and I hope really solves this problem because it's getting really really bad. It's getting back to the point where it is going all the way down to my little casita, to my little workshop, and that smell is really bad. Sometimes I cannot be inside there because this thing is getting nasty.
Here we go. This. Wait. No way. Ah, it's starting to work immediately. This is awesome. And the best part is that this thing is not toxic for the goats. So, oh my god, I'm gonna be using so much of this thing. What? I had to change my clothes because if not, the smell that is impregnated on my clothes is gonna be just here where the female goats sleep and that smell is gonna transfer to the meal which we don't want it's gonna be horrible it happened once and it's horrible <laughs> so I gotta clean all these well these things are getting dirty so fast look at that one there this one we just made this like what less than a week ago I finally got my water pump. This just arrived. I have to install it. Um, I'm gonna be running it with this tiny little solar station, which has been working awesome. I'm gonna plug it in this one that is here, that is DC current. Uh, there is only one that I have that is DC current, so I'm gonna be using it for the water pump. Okay. Gotcha. This is a moment where I have to put and use all my electrical knowledge which which is almost none uh, to rewire a plug because this is like a car plug this is an only 12 volts DC plug that I have and I, the connector that I have is it's it's used for this it doesn't accept anything else I hope I did a good job there um, no I just need to plug this in the pump and just hope the best that this thing doesn't explode. Okay, let's see. I should plug this in here. Uh, should be good. And if I press this, is it working? Hold on. No way! I am really dumb, what have I done? I just made a horrible mistake that is gonna be really bad because I forgot to connect or well, to glue that little piece in. This one, I just had it just plugged in there and was not glued in. And the water started coming out of there and it got over the pump, which means that I'm gonna have to dry it completely before I use it. I don't think it's gonna it's gonna mess up with it because it's supposed to be waterproof. I think so. Um, I'm just gonna dry it and hope the best that it keeps working. That. All right, here we go. This is attempt number two, and uh, hopefully it's gonna work. It's working! It's working! <laughs> I have got a functional sink on my shed. Look at that! That is awesome. That's gonna change my life here. That's a life-changing thing. Having water inside 
the shed's gonna be something really 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 good because as now I have been going all the way down to my jungle to do the dishes you know I can do them over here which is really really awesome I'm really excited and happy for this I'm gonna end it here guys thank you so much for your support love you so much you guys are the best and I'll see you next time